Hello, this is CP Addict, and in this video, I'll try to explain the problem uh, maximum distributed tree of the code forces round 665. I'll also try to explain the solution for the problem and also walk you through my solution. I hope you understand this problem. So, let's get started. So, in this problem, we are given a tree and all the edges so n minus 1 edges of the tree are given and we have to assign a number to each edge so suppose this is the tree or this one is the tree we have to assign a number to each of the edges of the tree right so the thing is we have been given the uh, numbers as p1 p2 till pm all of them are prime numbers so it actually doesn't matter if they are prime or not so we are given uh, n number m numbers to be precise we have to assign each of them to all the edges so if p is if the number of uh, numbers which we are given is less than the number of edges p will assign one to the other edges so we have to assign them in such a way so that this value is maximum. So this problem is a bit complicated uh, according to its language but when we try to solve it or understand it and we understand what this function is the problem becomes fairly simple. So what this function is for each i to j fij is the sum of the numbers on the simple path from node u to v so if we have marked this so fij equals to sum of all the values so the fij value will be for 1 4 will be it will be 4 and for 2 4 it will be 5 so you got got this what fij is and this entire function becomes for uh, for each pair we have to calculate the sum so if you think it in calculating for each pair it will become very complicated because n is very large so if you are finding uh, assigning and then finding n it will be very complicated so we have to think about a very neat and very simple solution so you can see that in this function this function any edge ij any edge ij so let's take this example so any edge ij suppose 2 3 this edge will come in exactly the number of uh, number of nodes in the first subtree and multiplied by the number of nodes in the second subtree so if if there are n nodes in left part and total minus n nodes in right part the number of times this edge will be added to the answer will be the product of the two so this 2 will be added 4 times because 1 we can have path from 1 to 3, 1 to 4 and then 2 to 3, 2 to 4. So this edge is com coming in uh, like the product of the left and right subtrees. So we have we can just calculate the times an edge comes in the solution. So after doing that, we can sort that and assign the maximum values to the uh, edge that comes in maximum number of times. So uh, and it is also written that we have to minimize the number of ones. So if the given numbers are less than n minus one, we can assign one to the remaining ones and if they are la uh, more than that we can multiply some values and assign to the 
no uh, to the edge that is coming the most number of times so that is the fairly simple solution so how i did this solution how i solved this one is i'll show you my solution so let's see how i solved this one so first i calculated the size of each subtree and then for each edge i calculated the number of times it will be coming in the answer so i have calculated all the uh, edges like how many times it will be coming in the uh, answer and after that uh, i am taking all the numbers and then i will just assign the maximum number to the greatest uh, i will be assigning the uh, largest multiplier to the largest uh, value that is the largest number of times the edge is coming so i am just multiplying it accordingly and the answer will be just the summation of the multiplier multiplication of the multiplier and the number of times the edge comes so we just output the answer so this is a very simple solution i hope you like this solution and i'll see you in the next video and i'll be pasting my solution link in the description so i hope you like this one please subscribe my channel see you in the next one good night